YouTube. It's your girl, Really Really TV, coming at you with another cooking video today, 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 guys. We're going to be cooking my garlicky, peppery shrimp. So, we're going to start with some, well, freshly washed, and these are colossal shrimp. These aren't like real, the little bitty tiny shrimp. These are big shrimps. I don't know if you can see how big these suckers are. They're already freshly washed. I just washed them. So, we're going to start out with two tablespoons of butter that I'm about to put inside the pan and we're about to start the process of cooking right now. I'll say medium. Put it on medium. But what I'm going to do is actually because I put my peppers, onions inside of them, I saute the onions with some butter and then we're going to start the cooking process. So we're going to put like one and I'm just eyeballing I'm, I'm even guessing that it's two tablespoons. But that's all I need. I don't need that much butter for right now anyway. So, I'm going to start that. Let that melt inside the pan. Okay, now that butter has melted. And we're going to go ahead and start putting our veggies in there, which is the peppers and the onions. We're going to saute that until it becomes translucent. I put red onion as well as yellow onion. You can use whatever kind of onion you want. And it already been cleaned and washed and chopped, sliced, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna go ahead and just give that a little stir get that going pepper shrimp so it's gonna be way more of pepper than anything on them and it's gonna kind of like set the dish off so the pepper is gonna be kind of heavy because it is got something to do with the pepper i like the way it tastes so so that's the pepper and just a little bit of salt, not too much. Well, I like flavor, so I ain't gonna be too good that I'm gonna stand with it, but it's gonna be tasty, like always. Just gonna do that a whiff, stir that up a little bit. I'm liking the way it's smelling, the aroma is smelling amazing. We'll come back when this becomes translucent and then we're going to move this out of the pan and we're going to move it into another dish and we're going to put a little bit more butter and we're going to start to cook our colossal shrimp guys so stay tuned all right guys so it looks like they're getting translucent as we speak so i'm about to do a transfer where i'm going to move these into a bowl and hold them in the bowl until I get done with the shrimp. Well, get ready for them to go back in the shrimp because I'm actually going to add them back into the pan with the shrimp in a second. Just wanted to make sure that they was actually soft enough, but they appear to be coming along just fine. So some of them are still kind of like not soft as I would like. This one right here, I'm going to leave in the pan just a little bit longer. But the rest of them, I'm going to go ahead and take out and I'll get right back with you. Okay, guys, I have transferred the, sh the peppers and, and the onion into a different bowl. Now I'm going to use the rest of this butter. I'm going to melt it down and then I'm going to add my shrimp. So, just going to melt this really quick. The pan is pretty hot, so it shouldn't take long to melt this down. So... I'm going to kind of like try to do this where I can layer, well, try to like make sure it's just one layer of shrimp, but I can't guarantee it, but I'm going to try to do my best. And that's kind of how I want it to be like one layer of shrimp. These shrimps are colossal shrimps, like I said before. They're pretty big size, guys. They are already deveined and cleaned and rinsed real good. 
and they're going in the pan as we speak. They're not going to take long to cook because, like, like I said, they're shrimp, so, you know, shrimp is quick. Now I'm going to season the shrimp, guys. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Well, actually not a little bit of pepper because these are pepper shrimp. So, But the other one has pepper on it on the, on the bell pepper, so I'm going to add that too. So that's going to be more pepper. So I'm going to add my favorite seasoning, which is the roasted garlic and herb from McCormick. Add some of that. I'm going to be adding lemon pepper seasoning. And I'm going to be adding Slap Your Mama seasoning. Some of these red, crushed red pepper flakes. And it's making a mess on my stove. Don't mind that, guys. I'm going to clean that up as I get done. That should be good. Some parsley flakes. Can't all, you got to always, you know, I like to put a lot of parsley. I like to cook with a lot of parsley, so, yeah. That is definitely one part of my dish. I also going to be adding some onion powder. Some onion powder, guys. And some garlic powder. And I'm going to actually add some of this garlic out of the container like this and I'm going to squeeze some of that in here as well because I have to that should be enough and I'm going to mix this up and then I'll come back and show you looking like what okay so this is the shrimp there they've been turned around on the other side and they're trying to cook nicely and we're going to about to find out what they're going to be looking like in just a second I gotta add the um, peppers to them in just a second, but not quite yet. Remember, the peppers are already done, so they just like an added touch to it. So hold on just a second. Okay, so I'm about to add the peppers in because the shrimps are cooked pretty much. Time to add those peppers in, guys. And I like these to be kind of spicy, so I will be adding a touch of spice to this to make it even better. For me. I'm going to flip these around a little bit, but... I want these peppers to also get coated with that garlicky, peppery stuff that we just made as well, so it has a flavor on it. And I eat all these peppers. I don't let none of that go to waste. It's not just for look, guys. I actually eat it. And these shrimps are still in their shell. So. It's cooking. And it's still like. Oh it's not overly cooked at all. Because I've done it before. And they're going to actually still be real juice. Because that like I said. Don't use them the small shrimps. You got to use colossal with this. Because you will overly cook some little small shrimp. But these shrimps are look different. I swear. They still be juicy and tasty. I swear they just so good. Now I'm just trying to make it spicy. So. This is what I'm going to do to make it spicy. I use this. I don't know if y'all ever seen this before. It's the fried chili uh, paste. And it's really good at making stuff spicy. So I'm going to take this paste. And I'm going to throw it in there. To make these shrimp super spicy. Don't use too much because it will like get too spicy real quick. That's actually a lot. But I like spicy so I wouldn't even advise you. If you don't eat spicy like I do, 
<laughs> I wouldn't advise you to eat this kind of, like, eat that much spicy right there. It's a lot. And I'm going to mix that up. And we're going to let that do what it do in the pan. And these are going to be some really tasty, amazing, spicy, garlicky, peppery shrimp like I like. So... I'm about to take these and I'm about to plate them up and then I'm going to let you see the finishing result of these. Alright, stay tuned. This is the finishing result of the garlic pepper shrimp guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like, comment, and share this video. Until next time, peace.